So hi guys, uh, welcome to this lecture, lecture number five on caselets. Now in this uh, lecture, we're going to understand how a four Venn diagram system works. Let's have a look at this question and let's get some more clarity on what it actually means, right? So let's read the question first. The question says the following Venn diagram represents the result of a survey conducted in JC Film Study. The diagram below shows the number of people who are actors, dancers, singers or writers. Refer to the diagram to answer the questions. Now, we, where the circle with A is representing actors, the circle with D is representing dancers, the circle with S is representing singers, and the circle with W represents the writers. So if I want to say how many of those are singers, so if you want to have a total of singers, it will be 60. Now, we these are singers alone. The number 10, which is in the yellow as well as the blue circle would represent those people who are singers as well as writers, but not anybody else, right? 28 people or 28 people are singers as well as dancers, but not anybody else. 12 would represent who are singers, who are dancers, who are actors as well as writers. So 12 people are singers also, they are writers also, they are actors also and they are dancers also. Why? Because this number falls inside all the four circles, right? Similarly, seven would be those singers who are actors and dancers, but not writers. Why? Because this is outside the blue colored circle, right? So this is how you need to filter and you have to see the values. Now let's move on to questions one by one. What does the first question say? The number of dancers who have at least three specialities. So you have to find those dancers who are having at least three specialities. So who could be dancers plus singers plus actors, who could be dancers plus singers plus writers, or who could be dancers plus actors plus writers, or they could be dancers plus actors plus singers plus writers. So these four possibilities can occur. Now, rather than finding out the values for all of them separately, you can visualize only those numbers which are firstly within the green circle. So these values are within the green circle. Let me highlight them for you. So this is within the green circle. 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 This, this and this as well. So all these will be called dancers. Now we want to find those who have at least three specialities. Now we will highlight those which are having more three or more specialities, right? Let me take a different color, yellow, green, blue, sorry. Now it become green, right? So we will have to exclude this. So why excluding this? Why? Because this is only dancers, nobody else. We will also be excluding these because these are only dancers and actors, nobody else. So they're having only two specialities. These have only one. These have again two. The very first one we can include is this seven. How come seven? Why? Because they are within the dance circle. They're also within the actor circle and will also within the singing circle. So three. Three uh, things in common. So if you want to actually identify dancers plus actors plus singers, this value is seven, right? What about this two? This number two is representing all those dancers who are writers as well as singers, but not actors. So dancers, writers and singers. Dancers, writers and singers represented by number two over here. What else? This number two again is dancers plus writers, plus actors, dancers, plus writers, plus actor. These are again two in number. So this is also there. And the last one is number 12, which are all of these. So you have to add all of them. So seven plus 12 is nine, nine plus two is 11, 11 and 12 will be 23. So the correct answer to should be 23, so which is not over here. So we'll go with none of these as the correct answer, right? So I hope you understood how we have to filter on the values. Let's move ahead. The total number of people having at least one speciality. So at least one means we'll have to count everybody. It is not saying exactly one. Had the question said exactly one, we would have actually added only these four values, but we'll have to add up all the values in all the circles. So now let us first add up all those who are at exactly one 
so exactly one would be 105 plus 60 is 165 165 plus 30 is 195 195 plus 23 is 198 and uh, 2118 at exactly two specialities we'll have to add them 18 28 10 and 46 right so 46 plus 18 will be how much 64 64 plus 28 78 sorry 64 plus 28 so 64 plus 30 is 94 minus 2 is 92 92 and 10 is 102 how many with exactly 3 will be this one 7 2 9 and 2 so 9 and 7 is 16 16 and 4 is 20 and all 4 will be 12 you're going to add all of them right so 8 and 2 10 into 12 1 carried over 1 and 1 2 2 and 3 5 and let me add 8 and 2 10 12 carried over 1 1 and 1 2 2 and 2 4 and 1 5 and exactly 1 and 2 52 have i missed something Oh my mistake, this is 218 and not 118, right? Please do make it a correction. 105 plus 60 plus 30 plus 23, it has to be 218. So this is 320, 352, right? So the correct answer would be 352. And let me make a correction over here so you're not confused. I beg your pardon. Okay, so 352 happens to be the correct answer over here, right? Just a small adding mistake. Let's have a look at question number three. The number of people having only one speciality exceeded the number of people having exactly two specialities. So only one exceeded the number having exactly two So the number of people having only one and exactly two. Let's go back to the previous slide. Only one and exactly two. So 218 and 102. So this is 218 and this is 102. So the number of people having only one speciality exceeds. So the difference between them is 116, 116. So option C should be the correct answer, right? Let's move on to question number four. Now this is an interesting question. Dancers who are also actors but not singers. Please make take a note of it. Dancers who are also actors but not writers. So dancers plus actors but not writers so let's go for dancers who are also actors is this one three zero down on this area but not writers so we have to exclude these area so 18 and 7 this becomes 25 right now let's uh, see what is the second part of the question demanding is what percent of singers who are not actors so we need to have singers who are not actors so we delete these so 60 plus 28 is 88 88 and 2 is 90 plus 10 is 100 this was 100 which one is 100 singers who are not actors so this is how much percent of this so 25 upon 100 will be equal to 25 percent so the correct answer should be option c that will be 25 percent let's move on to the last question writers who were neither dancers nor singers so we need writers who are neither dancers nor singers so writers writers who are neither dancers so we cancel this we cancel this and we also cancel this so writers who are neither dancers and nor singers nor sing now we don't cancel actors just a sec we take these 
so we cancel those who are writers but not singers so you have to cancel singers right so uh, sorry writers who are neither dancers okay there are dancers so we have to cancel this one not singers so singers also have to be cancelled okay so we'll be left with writers neither dancers nor singers will be this and this will be 69 exceeds actors who are neither writers nor singers so we have to look for actors who are neither writers nor singers let me let me clear this up so actors neither writers nor singers so actors where are actors actors who are neither writers so we have to chalk away writers 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 nor singers singers also we don't want so 30 and 18 is 48 so the writers who are neither dancers nor singers exceeds this the difference is how much 21 so option a should be the correct answer 21 is the right answer not 31 but 21 is the right answer please take a note 21 is the right answer right so 21 happens to be the right answer okay so uh, this is how you can go about solving a four variable venn diagram and uh, the next lecture lecture number six we're going to have a different type of a caselet wherein we will be having a ratio proportion values in percentage values in numbers everything in this caselet so let's have a look at this particular lecture in the next uh, video till then bye bye god bless you